Seekin hit the dirt with a collection of curses that would have made Ma blush. Hey, hey now, there's no need for... He was cut off when he had to make an awkward prone scramble lunge to avoid another whistling hammer blow. The hammer-wielding woman snarled an incoherent battle cry and arced the weapon around again, carrying the momentum of the rebound into a follow-up attack. Seekin got one leg under himself and leaped, seeking to put as much distance between himself and his attacker as possible. She hounded him, slamming two more thunderous blows into the ashen soil that he barely managed to twist and avoid. Finally, he managed to scramble back to his feet, interposing the length of his walking staff between them. Ace, please, Seekin beseeched. I ain't here to harm you. She cocked her head as if struggling to register his speech. Who? She rasped after a moment, her voice hoarse. My name's Seekin, miss, he answered, though he kept his stick up to ward her off as she turned again. Ash and Shepard, here to guide new souls such as yourself. Her brow furrowed. Where? She pressed, a faint wag of her chin indicating their surroundings. You're in the crossing. The Sunless Crossing, Seekin replied. Dash and Field, specifically. Name speaks for itself once you've had a chance to look around. Her expression didn't change, but she paused in her slow pacing around him. She glanced down and kicked a pile of soul dust with a booted foot. What? Seekin looked meaningfully at the half-dozen mounds he could make out from their current position. Well, I can't be specific, you understand, since all the leftovers look more or less the same, but if I had to guess, you ran into a pack of unraveled souls. Maybe some worse things. Awful luck, really. Yeah, my sympathy. Never seen so many attracted to one soul fall before. Is more danger near? She asked. Hard to say, Seekin admitted. Things can always surprise you in the fields. But I expect that everything near enough to notice you would have come to check out the scuffle already. She nodded, looking around. You sure know how to handle that hammer, Seekin ventured. Raven, she corrected, apparently on instinct. Raven, Seekin agreed. Good to have a name for a piece as fine as that. How'd you come by it? I don't know. He frowned again. You remember what it was called Raven, though? Or at least that it resembled a raven? She shook her head. I held it and it just felt like Raven. She gestured toward him. What is yours? It took Seekin a moment to realize what she meant. He held up his walking stick for inspection. I suppose I just think of this as stick. She nodded. Raven and stick. We will fight them if they return. Can't fault that logic. You said you are a soul shepherd? I did. So I am a soul. I suppose we both are, technically. But only you are the shepherd. I'm one of many shepherds, miss. But I showed up here just like you at first. Took the shepherd and job later. She nodded to herself, analyzing everything he was saying. I do not know how I came to be here. She stated, her tone blunt and matter-of-fact. Or where I was before. Do you? Seekin doffed his cap and rubbed his scalp anxiously. I can answer part of that, he began. We all wind up in the crossing for a reason. It's kind of a between place. Some souls need to stop here on their way from one plane to another. Little detour. Between where? He huffed. He would have preferred to slow play the typical bad news you died speech with this one, at least until he was sure she was feeling less hammery. But keeping her in the dark wasn't going to help anyone. Between your life and whatever's waiting for you after, miss. He waited for the pin to drop. And waited. She just stared at him, as if expecting him to continue. Erm, um, which is to say you died, I'm afraid? Condolences. She looked down at herself, then up at him as if he was a simpleton. I seem alive. Uh, yes, here, because the crossing manifests us as... You, you know, sorry, this is my fault. I usually have a whole explanation for new souls. I got off script, as it were. And maybe I'm jumbling you up. Let me put it this way. What's the last thing you remember? She looked around at the mounds of soul dust. Fighting? Before that. Raven. And before falling. Of course. And do you remember what happened before your fall? No. Try? She considered and then shook her head. I fell. I was attacked. I met you. There was nothing before. Nothing? Seekin faltered. Nothing, she told him with confidence. Oh. Oh? That may be a problem. Chronicles of the Crossing is an unholy alliance between four indie authors, one indie game studio, and a heavy metal band to bring you a collection of adventures through purgatory. You can head over to the Backer Kit page right now to pledge your support. Obtain any of these four amazing novels in paperback, hardcover, or EPUB editions. 
experience the metal awesomeness of Diamorte's soundtrack, and pick up the original Black Ballad campaign setting for your tabletop adventures if you didn't get it the first time around. Chronicles of the Crossing is a team of indie creators banding together to do something way above our weight class, and we could really use your support, so head on over and check it out now.